Nicole. Welcome to my place. I'm back from Cambodia and if you didn't know, I was away for two weeks teaching English as a volunteer in Cambodia and I must say it was very interesting and memorable. It was a lot different from Nicaragua and I hope to be able to get the vlogs up very soon for you. But today I have a haul video because I did go shopping just a little bit at the markets there, namely the Russian market and the central market. I didn't actually get time to go to um, a regular mall, but I think that's okay because I picked up a, quite a few things. So let me get started. So first up are these souvenirs that um, I wanted to give away to family and friends. And they are these coin purses that are really cute. I'm gonna try to get them all in one frame. So. I have a whole bunch of different styles and as you can tell I went a little bit crazy so I am just going to show you the styles one by one so first up is this really simple uh, coin purse it has one zipper up top and opens up to one pocket the second one um, has two uh, zippers but then it, uh, again it's really simple each pocket just opens up to one space I have a larger version of that uh, coin purse, which looks like this, but it's exactly the same. Um, yeah. And my favorite, I'm going to keep one for myself, is this wallet. It's so cute. I love the color. It has an opening like that. It just opens up to a pocket, and then there's a zipper here for your smaller change. Stuff like that. Really nice. So this I got for I think one fifty, and this is one dollar. Similar to this. So I thought it was a very good deal. I didn't really haggle much for it. Maybe I should have, but you know it was really good already. Second thing I got was kind of in the same vein. I got this kind of um, shoulder purse thing, but the handle I mean the string snapped off so I mean I wish I could still be able to use it I don't know kind of attach it but I thought it was really cute I got this for two dollars as well so pretty good right okay next up are some fashion items so I got these elephant pants and when you're walking around in Cambodia and I'm sure elsewhere in Southeast Asia you'll see tons of people wearing these they're just kind of pajama sort of pants with these elephant design on elephant designs on them. Can you see the elephant? Yeah. So I got them in a red and also in a navy color and I got one for my mom as well. They were only three dollars each so which was a really good deal and the reason why I lived in these basically in Cambodia was because my mosquito bites were so bad I needed to wear pants to keep them out and they're just so lightweight so they were perfect just for walking around going to my teaching placement and I think in Canada I'm gonna sleep in them basically. Um, the next fashion item is this dress. It also has an elephant design to them so it's just a um, kind of knee length dress and cinches at the waist here um, and it has the elephant print on it so I got this for six dollars it was an okay deal but because I got them at the same vendor that I got the elephant pants and she already gave me a discount on the elephant pants so I didn't really push too hard on, on this dress so that's this another um, skirt dress maxi dress thing I got were the was this wrap dress it's coming off brighter on camera but it's actually darker green so on the waist it just has this um, string here so you just wrap it on around your waist and tie a knot and yeah it's kind of like a maxi dress so that's really nice um, if I can insert a picture of me wearing it I will so that's really nice Okay, next up I have these really cute graphic uh, tank tops. I actually got it in, I got one small, got a medium, and I got a large. I don't know, it just happened, it happened like that. So the first one, which I got in a small, and all these tank tops are $2, so, which is really good. So this one 
just features the Angkor beer. I thought it was cute to reminisce because the beer in Cambodia is so cheap. A can is only 50 cents. And sometimes when you um, rip off the tab, um, there's images there indicating if you want or not. And if you want, you can bring the tab back to the store and get a free beer. So it was really cheap. So I thought this was a good memoir piece. And then my medium size was this, my favorite. It says, no tuk tuk today. It's so cute because tuk tuk, which is this, is a mode of transportation. And I took it every day to school. And I think I talked to tuk tuk drivers. Um, like I had a tuk tuk driver that took me everywhere in Cambodia. And it was really nice because they were so friendly, always willing to wait for you to go to places. So I thought that was really nice. And my large piece is this uh, t-shirt that just said, that just reminds me of Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is a temple in the city of Siem Reap. It just looks like that at the front and then looks like that at the back. I thought it was nice. So that is that. I think that, that is all the fashion items. Next up is this set of chopsticks. Um, I actually bought another set of chopsticks that I already gave away, so I'll insert a picture right here. That one's really cool too because the top layer are seashells and the actual chopstick section of the chopsticks are teak wood. This one as well is teak wood and this is some kind of buffalo bone. And as you can see, it's really nice kind of exotic design here. So these I got for $10 each, each set of chopsticks, which I didn't think were too bad. I, I, they, she was calling for 12, so I asked for 10, and she, she was really, really nice. So yeah, it comes with, let me just quickly multiply, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 pairs of chopsticks for $10. Not bad. Not bad at all. Up next, um, I got a hammock. This actually I got for a friend, and it just looks like this. It's multicolored. I don't know how else to show it. Um, I didn't get the one with the actual wood hanger, which I really wish I did get, but I didn't want my luggage to be overweight because they were both going for $5. She was so desperate. The vendor was so desperate. She like deducted the price on her own. So I got this for $5. It was such a good price. I wish I got the wooden one for him. Um, this friend that I'm getting for, he inspired me to go on this volunteer trip. So thanks, Robin, if you're watching. Um, what's another thing I got? Oh, yes, this. This was life in Cambodia. If you're Asian, you probably know what this is. This is Tiger Balm. So I told you I had really, really severe mosquito bites, so I needed a remedy, and Tiger Balm was the thing. It's basically an all-around um, topical treatment for anything, scrapes, scars, bites, whatever. And there are two types of Tiger Balm, the red one, no, <laughs> the white one and the red one. Um, the white one is more for topical treatments, uh, like mosquito bites and scrapes and stuff. And the red one, I believe, are for if you have a cold or you have migraine, um, you just put it near your sinus areas and you'll get better, apparently. I don't know. I haven't tried the red one yet, but I really like the Tiger Balm. It really um, reduces the swelling, so good stuff. And I got them for $2 a piece. They were going for 3 and at Haggle, so yes, Tiger Balm. This is one of my favorite pieces. It looks like this because it's wrapped up right now. It's actually a picture, so I'm going to attempt to open this. Okay, so I finally opened the wrapping paper and this is my favorite favorite piece. It's just this painting done by an anonymous artist. So this is a painting of the Angkor Wat temple and as you can tell there is a monk 
just walking, you know, solo towards the temple. And I think this picture captures the essence of the temple so, so well. Um, so I had to get it. I actually went to the Russian markets with one of my housemates, Linda. And we haggled together because she was asking for, I think, 15 a piece. And we're like, no, 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 no. We will both get one. And we were trying to haggle to 10 And finally, we got it up to $11 a piece, which we're still very happy about. But yeah, it just reminds me of the time where I went to the Angkor temples. And it was just so amazing just seeing all the architecture and the reflection of a time when Cambodia was really, really peaking in terms of civilization. And it was just amazing. So I love this. This was, I hope I can like frame it somehow and put it up. I don't know, but maybe I can start a wall where I can feature paintings or pictures to display my worldly travels. That will be my goal to fill up my wall, maybe. Okay, so that was my favorite piece that I bought. The last thing is actually a gift from the host family I was staying with. They were so, so nice, Mr. and Mrs. Lim. Um, they were just so hospitable. Mrs. Lim cooked uh, lunch and dinner for us every day. Um, Mr. Lim also, when I was in Siem Reap in another city, I was volunteering um, in the capital city of Cambodia, Phnom Penh, but on the weekend I went to Siem Reap and Mr. Lim happened to have a guest house or a hostel in Siem Reap so um, they, the family suggest, suggested that I stay there and he picked me up from the bus station and just so nice so anyways let me show you what they got me uh, it's in this packaging it's just this really nice tapestry type thing Mrs. Lim said you, I could use it as a um, a mat of some sort like for the table or for the floor I don't know what I'm gonna use it as maybe just like a accent throw on my couch I don't know but yeah it's very nice I think it's also um, a scenery from the Angkor temples as well but yeah it's just really nicely made and it's just a reminder of the wonderful people that I met in Cambodia. I think that is all the things that I wanted to show you. Um, overall, the Cambodia trip was really rewarding. I met a lot of amazing people. And I must say the beginning was really hard because I just had to adjust to a new surrounding and the mosquito bites and all of that. I did write a blog post that I can link, put the link right here. Um, recapping my general thoughts about the trip. And I hope to be able to get the vlogs up but yeah, it was rewarding and I would recommend it to anybody who really wants to immerse themselves in another culture um, because working with people in the community, it's quite different than just going around and being a tourist. You actually see how people live, um, what the culture is like, and being the kids from the poor areas, um, life just gets really real and it shows you that there is a different side to the world not just um, the sheltered bubble that we are in in North America so it's just inspiring and it was a good experience I would definitely do again and recommend it so anyways I will stop rambling and let you guys go alright until next time I love you guys bye